Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box Unboxing. Today it's from Latest, latest in Beauty, Trending Beauty Volume 2, Premium Edition. And this was released, I think, last week, March 2024. So this costs £42 plus delivery and it's worth £176. I got £4 off by using the code TikTokPrem4. I'm not sure if that will still work, but hopefully it will, so it's worth a try. Apparently TikTok do do some great codes for latest in beauty, so that's worth looking out for. Hopefully as well, if you're a Lib or if you were a Lib Pro um, subscriber, you will still get some kind of discount, even though they've stopped doing the subscription boxes. So this has a leaflet with it, as always, with a little bit of information. I've taken some info from my info mainly, actually, from the brand's websites and pricing. There's a little bit of pricing info on the when you go to order the box. They have pricing on some of the items, but not all of them. But I've tried to get it on everything. There are nine items in here, plus two samples. However, one of my products was missing, unfortunately. I, I'm not 100% sure that it's not my fault. I opened the box about three days ago and moved it around a couple of times. So there is a the slight chance that it's fallen out. I think it's unlikely, though, because I was very careful when moving it. And I didn't get any of the products out until today. So I'm not 100% sure, though. I can't say it's definitely missing. If anyone else has had this box and experienced the same problem as me, please let me know. So I can then, at that point, I would contact Latest in Beauty. But at the moment, I just can't be 100% sure. It's not my fault. Anyway, the product that's missing is by Elf Cosmetics. It's the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen in shade Pinky Out. It's £8 on the brand's website. If you did get it, the brand describes it as an all-in-one lip plumper gloss and balm which drenches lips in a sheer wash of colour and shine while plumping up their appearance with an invigorating tingle. The non-sticky formula is infused with maracuja oil for added moisturising benefits and plus it contains blueberry watermelon and pomegranate extracts. The clean click-up design makes it easy to apply for a glass-like sheen. So obviously I can't really tell you what it's like. I'm guessing it's a lovely little pinky colour. I'm guessing it tastes quite fruity. Sounds really nice, but never mind. It's just one of those things. If I find, find it's rolled under the sofa or the bed or somewhere or another in the next few days, I'll let you know. Okay, the next product. Now, I did want this one anyway, so I'm happy. I'm happy enough with the box regardless. This is by Gatineau. It's the Golden Glow Gradual Tan. It's 75 mils and it's £20 on the brand's website. They say a fast absorbing cream gel to instantly hydrate and gradually tan the body. It leaves skin feeling nourished and looking radiant with a natural and even glow. And they do say it's got top notes of pear and mandarin and base notes of sandalwood and musk. You apply it using smooth circular motions and rubbing thoroughly, lightly smooth over dry areas such as hands, elbows, knees and feet. And you wash hands after use, particularly in between fingers. Wait for skin to be touch dry before dressing. Now, the colour on this one develops over three to four hours and you use for one to three days to achieve your desired glow and simply top up whenever you like. So I did want this. I'm starting to sort of restock up on my self tan products which i use more, a lot more in the summer than i do the winter i'll use the occasional bit on my face in the winter but not really anywhere else because it's all covered up but i do try and get my legs out slightly only up to the knees in the summer and my arms probably just up to the elbows <laughs> so, now i'll try and be i'll try and lose a bit of weight so i can get them a bit more on show um this is actually something that I think I have had before, but I can't quite remember. And there's a beautiful smell to it, which I think I would remember. I have tried it out today, so ignore the bruise on my arm. Um, it was a few hours ago, so it should have developed a bit by now. I can't see anything massively different about it, though. So I think you do need that building up thing what i'll try and do is use it in the week and then maybe next time i do a video and you look at my arms you'll notice maybe they look a little bit more tanned and that will be this product i'll try just to unless i get another one of course but i'll try just to use this one 
The thing that I do really like about this is the smell. I'll show you on a bit of tissue because obviously I don't want to get this on my arm again. Um, it's just like a sort of a creamy formula, but it smells really good. It does smell fruity and sort of light and very summery, light and fruity. And afterwards, my arm smelled of that too. And I can still smell it now. The interesting thing is a lot of the self-tan products, they do have that self-tan kind of smell as well to them. Even if they've got a fragrance, there's that sort of self-tan smell. This one doesn't seem to have that. So it just smells of a nice, light, uh, fruity fragrance, which is really good. So very, very happy with that product. The next one is by Kevin Murphy and it is Untangled. This is a full size, 150 mils. It's £29 on the brand's website. They say this is a strengthening and detangling leave-in conditioner designed to help rehydrate and soften the hair. With a nourishing blend of ingredients, it smooths the follicles, making it ideal for all hair types, but particularly thick, curly and unruly hair types. And it also offers heat protection of up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 degrees centigrade. Key ingredients are Australian fruit extracts, including cacao plum, bamboo extract, vitamins A, C and E. To use it, you shake the bottle first, spray onto wet hair, then comb through and leave in. So this one, this again has a lovely fruity smell to it. So I'm going to do it on a bit of, no, I'll do it on the back of my hand just to show. I don't know why really, because there's not a lot to see. Oh, it's gone everywhere but the back of my hand. There's a tiny little bit there, um, mainly just so I could give it a smell. It's fruity and it's actually really nice. I can't put my finger on what it is, but it's very fruity and very fresh and but sweet at the same time. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely, lovely smell. And I have got it in today. So I washed my hair just using shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used a mask today or anything else apart from shampoo, conditioner and this. And you know what? It's done a very good job, I think. My hair does feel nice and soft. Um, and it looks quite shiny. So yeah, a good, good product. And this is the sort of thing I, do you know what, I probably more, no, do you know what, I would use it with straight hair. I normally just use my Philip Kingsley product with my straight hair, the uh, gloss one. But this actually has done such a good job, I would use this as well. Hmm. Maybe my Philip Kingsley for special occasions, because it is still my, probably my favourite. But This one's a good Good runner up. Okay, the next uh, product is Silky Miracle Detangling Brush in Bubblegum Pink. This is £14.99 on the brand's website. They say ideal for all hair types and for use on dry or wet hair. The flexible teeth effortlessly glide through your hair, saving you time and preventing hair from tugging and snapping. The stand-up design saves space too, and they say it's the only hairbrush you need in your hair care routine. So I was smiling there because I'd written hair, well, they'd written hair about 3,000 times. No, three, but you know, still sounded a lot in that short sentence. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So it's a, it is a lovely little, it's a nice pink shade. I like that kind of shade. The bristles, they're kind of, can you hear that? It, they're sort of, they're not too firm, they're quite bendy, and they're not too spiky, a little bit spiky, but not too spiky. So they're, then, you know, I've had some that are a little bit harsh to use on your scalp, you don't, I don't like it, I'm quite sen sensitive soul really, um, but that, that's quite nice to use. I use this when I first woke up this morning, I got bedhead, big bedhead, lots of tangles, and it did a great, great job without sort of, when I checked the br brush after just to see if there was like loads of hairs that had been pulled out and there weren't, there were about two or three, which is, you know, that's fair enough, some are bound to come out, but not bad at all. What I like about this as well is this flat base that you can just stand it up. That, I don't think I've got another hairbrush like that actually. So it is really, really useful takes up minimal space um 
I shall try it out now just to show you. Although there's not a lot to see when I've just done my hair, but there's a little bit of a tangle there that it got out quite easily. Yep, it's really nice. And I think it does probably add to the shine. Look, there's no hairs that I can see in there. So it's done a nice job. I actually really like that more than I thought I would. Okay, the next item is by Spectrum and it's Rose Quartz AO4 Tapered Finishing Brush. So I couldn't find the exact brush on the web, on the Spectrum website, but there was a very similar one, a similar tapered finishing brush for £7.99. They say the tapered shape of this finishing brush allows us allows for precise application of powder products to the skin. The softly crimped synthetic brushes bristles will if effortlessly pick up and disperse the perfect amount of powder to create a flawless finish. So they say to use it, you can use it to apply targeted bronzer, highlighter or blush using the tip of it. Or you can use it for setting powder as well um, to to set and finish your makeup so it is a very pretty thing isn't it it's gorgeous i think i've had a similar one to this but not this exact one and i love the way it looks actually i love the way it feels it's so soft and silky i think it would be brilliant for um using with bronzer there's a product in here in a bit that i'll be telling you about which it would do very well with i didn't use it today because i wanted to show it you're all nice and clean and pretty. Okay, the next item in here is by Nooks and it's Rêve de Miel Hand and Nail Cream. This is 15 mils. You can get 30 mils on the brand's website for £6. So this is worth around £3. They say this silky and non-greasy hand cream repairs dry and damaged hands while protecting them from premature skin aging. Day after day, your hands feel softer and your nails are strengthened. It contains honey to nourish and care for dry hands, precious botanical oils, avocado, sweet almond and argon, which are replenishing and prevent skin dryness, shea butter, this is soothing and comforting and ha helps to soothe sensations of tightness, and vitamin E, which prevents premature aging of the skin. This is really lovely. So it's only a small size, but this is the kind of size that I keep in my handbag and I do use them. Because when you're out and about and you suddenly think, oh, this is a giveaway for me, especially if they're dehydrated, my hands really, really, well, lots of things show my age, but my hands definitely do are one of the, the main things if I haven't sort of cared for them. So if I'm out and about and I've forgotten to put it on in the morning, which I did earlier this week, then I always have one in my handbag. So I can just go, oh, just pretend that they're nice and smooth and soft. Um, this one smells particularly lovely. It does remind me of the Nooks oils. Probably the original one, I guess, rather than the floral one. It's really a beautiful cream to blend in as well. It's not sticky or tacky, or you don't have to wait for it to dry too long. So it's really good. And it's it has got that beautiful Nooks smell. It's gorgeous. And I think it will go with perfumes you know it won't overpower a perfume but will add to it yeah it's gorgeous i like that i would like i would probably buy that in a bigger size as well because that is one of that's lovely 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 anyway on to the next item which is by vida glow it's natural marine collagen sachets so you get this in one of either three flavors so you'll either get mango peach or pineapple it's a box of 30 servings and it's £39 on the brand's website, although it is currently on offer for £31.20 if you like it. They say original, nat original natural marine collagen is a collagen peptide supplement made from sustainably sourced fish skin. It has been activated to boost absorption so your body can actually use it and stimulate fresh collagen production. Integrated into your daily routine, it's clinically proven to smooth fine lines and wrinkles, increase skin firmness and enhance skin elasticity. And they say our formula is infused with real mango. This is the one I've got, sorry. So I think it's, in, I would say, infused with real fruit because I did check one of the other flavours and that said real peach. Um, adding a subtly sweet, smooth, smooth flavour. So with this one, you mix 
mix it so you can put it into drink or fruit a food i think you can even put it into hot drinks if you want to and they say do it every day you can put it into either 250 to 600 mils of water or as i say put it in your choice of drink or food or mix with food i suppose you could put it with yogurt or something like that in the breakfast in your breakfast might be nice yogurt fruit if you've been trying to be healthy like me which i always intend to do and never do and you take it one to three times a day now the, the amount you take it does actually depend on your age so if you are aged between 25 and 35 they suggest a single serving per day so it would last you 30 days if you're that that age range um two servings per day for those aged 36 to 45 so i guess that would last you um about 15 days trying to work it out in my head and if you're like me and you're 45 plus they suggest three servings per day so it's only going to last us 10 days i guess we need it more there is a calorific value attached to it if anyone's interested um, but it's only 11.3 cows per serving so what i'm going to do is i have got some water here i've got 250 mils less about two six which i had before filming um, which i'm going to add it to and show you what it's like so i'll be back in a second so i have stirred it into a glass of water this is how it comes it comes in these in a box like that with little individual sachets and i have stirred it into 250 mils of water i'm not going to drink it all but i'll have a little sip for you and tell you what it's like okay i have to say i can't distinguish the actual mangoness of it but it's sweet and it's quite pleasant so i think i will like that i had a blueberry one before and i have to admit i haven't used all of the sachets yet so maybe i need to do that i find it really hard to take supplements i don't know why i find it difficult to get them into my routine but there, there must be a way of me doing it there must be so i'm going to try harder anyway the next product is by illa masca now this is one of the ones i really wanted from this box which is the color correcting bronzer it's full size it's 34 pounds on the brand's website they actually do have that in three shades light medium and dark and this one is actually the light one i think so it's really easy to mark these the packaging on this so forgive me it's marked um they say a buildable bronzer duo with color correcting pig pigments that help neutralize and balance skin tone this long-lasting formula provides a natural looking velvet sun-kissed glow and helps sculpt shade and contour your face this bronzing duo contains both cool and warm shades that can be used on their own or can be easily blended with the color correcting pigment to help create a bronzed healthier looking complexion and they the Pro tip is um, simply just a big brush through all three shades. I'll show you the shades so you can see what I'm talking about. I think I was showing you that the wrong way around, but never mind. So that's what it looks like inside. There is a mirror as well. So you can see interesting. So a lighter shade, this sort of color correcting green shade, and then the slightly darker shade. So you Brush through all the shades, apply to the areas of the face that tend to get colour in the sun, such as the hairline, the bridge of the nose, cheeks and, and chin jawline. As well as getting a sunkiss glow, the green pigment will neutralise any redness you may have from rosacea, blemishes or any kind of sensitivity. And you can use each of the shades individually if you like with a small cheek brush or fluffy eyeshadow brush. You can use it as eyeshadow if you want to. So I have used this today. I've used it here. I think you can see that quite well. I have used a blusher as well, probably around here and a highlighter, but this is actually about here. And I did use it here too. I think it's difficult to see with a ring light sort of shining directly on my face. But I think you can see there is a kind of shadow there. So it is a lovely, lovely one to use. I love the idea of the colour correcting as well. Fabulous for me. I do suffer from redness. So having that. And in this particular place as well, having that in it too is great for me. Very happy with that. Next, we get a perfume, which is by Commodity, and it's Milk Expressive. 
This is five mils, the brand sells 10 mils for 24 pounds. So this is actually worth 12 pounds in terms of product value. They say seeking comfort in the familiar, this creamy and calming scent offers the perfect start to the day. Cold milk adds a cooling element to an otherwise rich and warm fragrance of marshmallow, mahogany and tonka bean. So I have had this a couple of times before. Actually, it is one of my favourite perfumes. This is one of the perfumes that I keep next to my bed. There are only a few of them. I have lots and lots of perfumes. Those ones behind me are the ones that look pretty, so they rarely get used. Um, the Floral Street ones do actually, I do like those. Um, but most of them just sit there being nice looking in their bottles. Then I have some that aren't quite so pretty that are, I've put in an advent calendar to take out day by day. And then I have my special ones, which are reserved for when I'm going somewhere. So this is what it looks like. You get this size. This is the one that I normally use, the one that I'm using at the moment. And I've got it on today. It's lovely. It is a vanilla one, but it's more than vanilla. It's it's kind of hard to explain, really. I think it is the creaminess of it that is that is that, that went a bit strange then. Yeah, there's a different smell to it. It's vanilla, but it's more than vanilla. It's it is like a creamy sort of rice puddingy, custardy kind of vanilla. I like it a lot. I do really like that one. Okay, the next couple of things are samples. Now, I've had both of these before. They're both by Ellie Saab. The first one is Elixir. It's got the, um, the powder from the drink all over it. So they're just little sample bottles. This is Elixir, and they say, inspired by Lebanon, a floral bouquet of or orris, sparkling neroleum, mandarin with amber. So I've had this before. It is very sweet. I'm just going to spray it on the uh, packet to give me a reminder, but I did try it them both out yesterday just to remind me this one I do find it quite floral you do get a little burst of mandarin a slight burst of mandarin and neroli you do get the neroli on the first bur burst it is a bit sweet and floral at first for me but it does it, it's okay it's doable some florals just no chance but this one is doable and it does calm down to quite another Actually, you can get the fruitiness of it there, and I do like that in a perfume, but it is quite floral too. So it's a bit of a hit and miss one with me. I did use it all up last time when I had a little sample like this, so I'm sure I will again. It will just go into my little advent calendar for use at some point. Then we get the Girl of Now um, perfume, lovely. So this one, mandarin and black currant notes with solar frangipani and orange flower magnified by tonka bee cord. So when I tried, I've never liked this one. I have to be honest. I've had it a couple of times, never liked it. This time I could get a kind of an almondy smell from it, like maybe the frangipani sort of smell. But it is very, very sweet, very sweet. And it's just not me i this is the kind of perfume that it's not me i tried it it was okay but i know i would never want to really wear it again sorry sorry about that there has to be some i don't like come on um so that's the end of the box i really really like this box i would have loved to get the elf lip product but you know what these things happen it's not the end of the world i'm really happy with the gatineau really happy with that I think it's lovely. It smells gorgeous too. It doesn't smell like a self tan product. Pretty sure I've had it before, you know. Then we had the Kevin Murphy Untangled. That's done a fab, fab job. And do you know what? I absolutely adore this brush. You wouldn't think this would be one of my favourite things in the box, would you? But I love that. Okay, it's, I'm sure that's adding to the, the silkiness of my hair as well. Um, then we had the, I'm um, probably gone all over the wrong place now, never mind. We had the brush, which I think is beautiful, gorgeous. If you like makeup brushes and you haven't got this one, it's a lovely one to have. And that does go with the gorgeous Illa Masca. I'm really happy, really, really happy with this product, I have to say. I think that's done a nice job, I think, anyway, looking on the screen. And as I say, I like the element, the colour correcting element with that. Then we've got the supplement the collagen which i will try my hardest to use this time we've got the nukes hand cream beautiful beautiful product we've got the milk perfume 
and we've got the two little samples i hope i've captured everything there but i'm not 100 percent sure so i like that box i think it was worth it for me there's a couple of good uh, price products in there that i love so very happy with that well quite a few actually so i haven't got long now because i'm waiting for my brother to call me which i will be actually he's calling me now so i'm gonna have to wrap this one up quickly quickly other boxes out there latest in beauty i've got a makeup limited edition one at the moment called the it girl which is 30 pounds worth 204 pounds um, I think they're releasing another one next week, the Expert Beauty Edit with Caroline Barnes on Thursday. That looks pretty good. I've seen a little bit of a preview of that, and I think I want that one. Plus, there's a cult beauty makeup one at the moment called Hertility, um, which is £40 worth over 140 That looks really nice too, but the thing is with that one, I've got the majority of the products. I don't think I'm going to get that one. Similarly with the latest in beauty, um, It Girl one, I've got a lot of those products already. Um, so I probably won't be getting that one. Look fantastic. I've released a perfume edit, uh, yeah, for £55, where you get that voucher for £55 to spend on one of the perfumes in there. And similarly, again, with that, I think I've got all of the perfumes in there apart from one. So it's not really a box for me. There were other boxes I've seen. I saw a lovely John Lewis one that I really fancied. A couple of next boxes that I quite like the look of, or at least one new one. But I don't know. So I'm saving myself, I think, for next week, for the latest in beauty one that's coming out next week. And then we'll see what else then. I've still got my rocker box to film, but I just haven't had time today. Today has flown by and I just um, wasn't organised. I'm not organised. I needed to do some shopping. So it has all gone a bit to pot today so i've just had chance to do this one i will do try and do at least a couple of videos next week cohorted i need to do i might pop rocker box at the end of that because to be quite honest with you rocker box wasn't my favorite box this month it was okay but not the best so anyway i am going to have to leave you so i'm going to send you loads of positive energy and lots and lots of love and hopefully i'll see you again here next week my brother's calling me again he'll be cross if i don't answer so i'll see you soon take care bye